Watson had married and I was alone. In fact, it was on the very day he left Baker Street that the case, which was to be my last, began to unfold. It was almost 30 years ago the Great War had ended and the tourists had come back to Baker Street to catch a glimpse of the real Sherlock Holmes. Thankfully, in his stories, Watson had always published a false address for our actual quarters. So you found the right address. Why did you do it? Sir? Break into my study. My study is my sanctum sanctorum. Private place. Before you went to Japan, I saw you writing that story. I didn't know you wrote stories. Oh, Dr. Watson, yes, he was the writer. Well, so I borrowed Mum's key and went into your study, and there I was. And how much did you read? Just to where you stopped. It was a good part, too. A man comes to Baker Street, you say you've come about your wife. How could you tell? Did you do the thing? What thing would that be? The cane shows the marks of a dog's teeth. <laughs> the wood is from an island southwest of Madeira. That thing. And how would you tell that a man's visit was about his wife? He wears a wedding ring. Yeah. Well, the clues are all on that page. This sentence, to be exact. One day into the room came a young man in newly pressed, albeit inexpensive, clothes. Clothes are freshly pressed. He's a young man, though. Not expensive clothes. Then his wife must press them. Men don't have the talent, and he can't afford a servant to do so. Very good. That's how you knew it was about the wife? Well, no. When you're a detective and a man comes to visit you, it's usually about his wife. <laughs> 